I would say good morning, but half the day is already gone. It's pretty much 25 past three already because this morning I've been a very busy, busy boy. I've switched banks, ordered a suit, and gone to look at bathtubs. But that's not the focus of this video. The focus of this video is the fact that I will be replacing my rear brakes on the car, not the brakes, not the full brake, just the brake pads. Replacing the rear brake pads on the car um, because they're getting quite low and they're making a lot of noise when I'm braking in reverse. And I know that that's never a good sign. I was gonna do it the other day, but I didn't have all the right equipment. I didn't wanna rush in and do it wrong. Plus my dad's gonna come over and help me because one, I don't have a proper jack. I have a jack that comes with the car. And two, I don't have a tow gun, wheel nut gun, gun, air gun. I know it's not air, but whichever term you like to call it, I don't have one of those either. So it will be manual for every single nut on every single wheel. And I say every single wheel because we're gonna also be replacing the wheel nuts with the D1 spec uh, red wheel nuts. They are aluminium. I know I'm probably gonna get slated for that because they're not as strong as the steel ones, but I'm not somebody that takes my wheel nuts on and off, on and off all the time. I'm literally gonna be putting these brakes on and then I don't really need to take the wheels off unless I'm gonna be doing that again or if something else comes up in the future, but I'm not planning on it. So we'll whack those on. If I don't like them or if I want to upgrade in future, then I will, but they should be okay for now. Another thing was I didn't have the correct tool. So now I have a brake caliper wind back tool, which I didn't have. And I didn't fancy doing that in some other manual way when I'm not gonna get a proper tool for it. It was really cheap. I actually got it from Wix. Uh, it was only like, 12, 13 quid, so I don't, I don't know, I can't fully remember, but I know that it's not an expensive tool, but it is something worth having. Now, my dad's coming later on to help me with that, but before then, also today, I actually went and bought barbecue and a patio set, so we're gonna try and put the patio set up. But before anything, something really cool has happened and I need to show you. More than one really cool thing happened, I'll show you it all. I need to start with this first. As most of you will probably already know, Banzai Magazine is one of the most well-known magazines when it comes to Japanese JDM cars, culture, that kind of thing. They were even giving them out at Japfest. Now, since actually before Japfest, Banzai had a, a thing on their Facebook site where readers can post pictures of their cars uh, and post about them and, and, and their name and what they've done to their car and things like that. And then um, out of all the, I'm guessing hundreds because it's quite a, quite a lot of people know about this magazine, um, of people, they chose so many people to be on a page which is like readers' cars. Now, I didn't even, it was that long ago that I completely forgot about it, but in one of my videos, one of you guys actually pointed out to me saying that they'd seen my car in a magazine. I'm thinking, how? I don't understand. Was it from Japfest or? I don't know, I don't know. And they said it was Banzai, I'm like, you're having a laugh. You're joking. So when they got the latest issue, turned to the correct page. And boom, it's me. Yeah, boy. So anyway, that's pretty, that was pretty exciting. I couldn't believe I'm picking my, my cars in a magazine. I know it's not a feature or anything like that, nothing special, but the fact that it's in that magazine specifically um, is pretty cool and I'm pretty proud of that. Moving on to the even cooler thing that's just happened recently. As you'll all probably know, if you if you subscribe to my channel and you do watch my videos, I recently did a video about my Twitch and how it affects me talking to people and things like that. Now in that video, I mentioned YouTubers that I, well, which I had seen at Jackfest that I didn't go up and speak to because I was a bit nervous. And I pretty much saw myself as less I'm gonna do it in schoolyard terms. A less cool guy, I'm a less cool guy. All these other guys just shut that cupboard. All these other guys are a lot cooler than me, proper cool YouTubers and all that. And that was that. Since then, one of those YouTubers which I mentioned, which is Status Error, has actually got in contact with me. He was a really cool guy, explained that he quite liked my channel and liked my videos, which I was over the moon about. And then I was aware at Jetfest that he was giving out tags like keyring tags with status error on them. And I would go to that and get to grab one of those. He found that out and sent me one. In, he sent me some stickers as well. So, so I got this in the mail. I'll, I'll cover it up like that. It's even got friggin' FN Lou. Oh yeah, I'll show you what's inside. So inside we've got all these cool status error stickers, which I ain't got a clue where I'm gonna put them, but I'll probably end up using some of them at some point. Um, that one's pretty funny. Oh, those little Japanese 3Ds. Plus, a 
Okay, so a uh, keyring tag. How cool is that? I can't believe that. What a genuine guy. I don't think this counts as like a sponsored video because I know he has sent me these for free as, as, an, as just a goodwill gesture. So I don't think it would count as, as that. But, and he's not asked me to promote his stuff, but I will tell you, if you do want any amazing, really cool artistic merchandise to do with cars um, in this general style, then that's where you need to go because it is really good quality stuff. So all I can say is, um, well, thanks again for that. Thank you very much. Plus, you'll probably already know by now if you do follow his YouTube channel, but he has recently purchased a new car and I have to say I quite agree with the choice. So now if you said a look in the in the parcel again, there is some more stickers I'd enjoy. There's also this like lady zombie here. Get that in focus. And this cool decal as well, which I'm gonna save this. This is gonna go somewhere special. I'm not gonna tell you yet. But the next mod I really want is a Mugen Wing. As well with the brake pads came this uh, Mini Cooper um, magnet thingy to do with the company, which provided me with the pads. So I don't really have a fridge freezer because um, it's all built in unit, so it's going to have to go on a dishwasher. Oh, that didn't work. Wow, that's hideous. Anyway, I need to get rid of some weeds, build something to sit on, and and then we'll come to the car later on, okay? Okay, so we're able to come around now. We're taking the wheels off so that we can get to the brake pads. What I'm gonna do as well is just let's have a look at the difference between the old pads and the new pads, uh, just to see what the damage is, and then, well, I won't say damage, we'll see. The main thing we wanna make sure is that the car's safe, and there's none of these horrible squealing noises as well that's still going off. And then we could put the new nuts on. So is it two bolts? Is it two bolts behind? Two bolts, yeah. Yeah. So there's two bolts behind here that you'll have to uh, undo to get to the actual pads. Um, and we're going to need to use the. Oh, sorry. What about the sun? We're going to we're going to need to use the wind back tool simply because in the rear caliper it's more of a screw motion where it comes where it presses on, and as the pads wear down that goes closer and closer to the disc. Now on a new pad, you're gonna have a thicker amount on the pad already because it's brand new, none of it's been used. So we have to wind it back to make sure there's enough space for the pad to go in. So if we compare the pads, so you've obviously got your new Brembo pad and these are the pads that we've just been taking off. If you look at the thickness of each one, I mean, I'm focusing on grass now, quite a, lot, quite a lot of difference. There is still some pad left on this, but as you can see there, there's some slight cracks and it's, it's the same on the other one, so it's safer to get it off really. I mean, look at them next to each other. You can tell the difference. So what are we saying, sorry? We're covering, covering metal plate the with... The back plate with copper slip. Yeah. And where it sits onto your clips. Where it goes onto your clips, we're also greasing those so they don't seize okay. and stick. Mm -hmm. It also reduces noise. The main thing is though, you have to remember, try not, you, you don't want to get any of that gain on the actual pads because then you're basically lubricating the surface that you're going to be using to, to stop the car. That goes there, not that, right? Yeah. And then to get that in. That's what not fit. It's not going to fit. Yours doesn't fit. Yeah. Okay. So that's pointless for me now. <laughs> I'm not saying it's pointless, I'm just saying. In comparison, that's my tool. My and then... <laughs> my, dad's <rusty. laughs> my dad's rusty tool that's been out in like, every weather. Yeah, but sometimes old, older tends to be better. Older, more simple. It would be easier if it weren't here, where it is. Wait, handbrake cable yeah. still being attached. Yeah. What it is, the handbrake cable is still attached to the actual caliper. That's because where where... What would you say the like the bracket? Yeah, where the cable comes through, it has a, a, a circlet that holds it, but it's a bit rusty, so we don't want to mess with it. Yeah, so we won't want to risk the chance of taking that off, snapping it, and never being able to connect the um, cable back to its position again. So we're having to try and back. wind back the caliper whilst it's still attached to the brake line. Right, so to save time, what I'm going to start doing is whilst my dad's doing that, I'm going to be individually 
won't have to be over changing these wheel nuts to the new ones so we don't have to do it after we've done the back wheel. I'm going to use the gun to take them off but I'm just going to hand tighten the new ones on simply because there's less chance of me damaging them then and then they're going to look nicer and that's what they're for. So let's crack on with that. I feel like I'm going to wreck them. Literally come off straight away, that paint. Just just looking at the, the actual like, distance, how much they come out compared to the other wheel nuts. There's loads. The thing is, especially with coloured ones of this material, they, they are going to like corrode and chip. You might not be able to see on camera, but just slightly. There's already bits of paint coming off, but they were cheap, so I'm not really going to complain. Uh, they're going to look better than the standard ones, no matter what. So The new nuts are on now. They do step out quite far distance from the car, but I don't really mind. I think the red works really well with the rest of it also. Really, I'm quite happy with those. We'll keep them on unless any better quality ones do come my way, but up to now, um, I'm happy with them. Okay, guys, that's pretty much everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like the new wheel nuts, because I bloody do. If you do enjoy my videos and you do want to see more, please like and subscribe. Share my videos if you want other people to see them as well. Thanks again for watching, and like I always say, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. You. Bye.